Silly Goose, did you miss last episode? Well, previously on Persona 5 Strikers... You think someone his age would have at least some talent? <laughs> like it matters. This kid's gonna make us a fortune. And now, back to your regular broadcast, changing hearts with the Phantom Thief! <laughs> We're on this screen, you know what that means. Welcome back to Persona 5 Strikers. Last time we left off, we were invading the castle. We got all the way up to the top. And now we have to go to Ango Natsume's trauma room. And just like with Alice, it sounds like he is being abused in some way, kind of. Alice was bullied, Him, his sounds a little different, kind of. It sounds like he's not living up to the hype that people thought he was going to live up to. Oh, that is what we're here for. Let's see if we- do we have any new requests except for this one? Not- Alright. I think we're- we're automatically just ready. You know what? Yeah, let's- let's go. I think we're ready. Alright, we're on the hunt for a Gatorade coffee. First, let's find out how many are in the area. Okay. Gatorade coffee. Got it. There's only one that's close to Sendai Station. Whoa, that was fast. Be it a bomb. It's a bit of a walk, but I'll be happy to guide you to the destination. You're amazing, Sophia. It's like you were made to be a navigator. Yo, like imagine if we never would have met her. Like, what, what would we do? What would we do in this game if we didn't meet Sophia? Ugh, but being the navigator's my job. Listen, Futaba, you the original navigator, right? You're adorable, Futaba. It's simply a question of having the right person for the right job. Fear not, Futaba. There are plenty of things only you can do. Facts, like you're the only one who can hack up on the internet. Huh, I guess that's true. Nobody else can act like a weirdo quite like you do, Inari. Actually, he is very strange indeed. Who are you calling a weirdo? You! Alright, I guess we'll just head over to the cafe then, yeah? Yeah, let's get going. Okay, I've got it. This is it. Gatori coffee. I can smell the coffee. Seems to be just an ordinary cafe. Are we sure we have the right place? We'll just have to put in the keyword and see. It can't hurt to All try. Right, let's make it happen. The trauma cells calling our names. Trauma cells? Trauma cell? It's just a name I came up with. Trauma room sounds like some kind of cheesy hospital drama. That is true, yeah. Tra trauma cell does sound better. Seems fitting. Call it whatever you want. We gotta roll. The key yes. to opening that birdcage has gotta be here somewhere. Do you remember the keyword? Of uh, course. It's Prince of Nightmares. Oh, yeah. The Prince of Nightmares. Just like what happened in Shibuya. This is where Natsume's trauma comes from. What yep. could have happened to him, I wonder? Shh. Someone's up ahead. Uh, are you sure about this? Awarding him the grand prize for that? Ongo Natsume. Huh. The kid's under every cup. But he's never made it past the first stage. He's as stubborn as he is incompetent. What's more, his writing is so painfully generic, it only becomes more obvious when you compare it to the other candidates. What? That voice. Is it not Sume? It can't be. He acknowledged my work. It's fine. He's the great Sogo Natsume's grandson, remember? Brand recognition is a huge part of marketability. Nobody gives a rat's ass about what's beyond the cover. Damn, that's crazy. So it's, he's not like his own author. He's just his grandfather's grandson, basically. That's it. Ango wants to be his own person. Though a certain someone seems to think he's actually worth a damn. Poor kid can't even see just how hopeless he really is. <laughs> and they're, they're just going to use him for his money. 
I'm trying as hard as I can. No skin off my nose, so long as he keeps raking it in. Yep, there it is. the jackpot with that one, and I plan on riding him straight to the top. And if he does, by some miracle, make something decent of himself, well then everyone wins, right? <laughs> These guys are the worst. Here it comes. Well, it's the same thing again. It's not nothing different. All right. Right on. A talent was half like you was hopeless. Hopeless. This is the same thing we saw in Shibuya. Careful! It's using different weapons from last time. This? I was I was looking at. No, he has like the same arms, doesn't he? Okay. Oh. We could have two. Do it again. All out attack. And this one might be easier than the first one. And uh, maybe not. Okay. That did nothing. Like that was easier than the first one. Whew. Well, I guess that does it. But we can get inside the bird cage now, right? Better get going then. Wait, but what was that we just saw? It seems Ango Natsume wasn't given that award on his own merit. Those editors just used him for his name. Yep. So there was a secret behind that novel after all. But not a bad guy, you see? It sounded like he entered the competition a whole bunch of times. And just when he thought his hard work was paying off, he had to hear all that. He must have been devastating. Poor Ango, he really wanted to do it for himself. Those editors are horrible. They knew his writing wasn't good enough, but they still gave him the prize just so they could make money. Yeah. It still doesn't justify what he's doing now. Nevertheless, I'm beginning to understand how he feels. Fox? Rising to fame atop stolen ideas, pulling at people's emotions with a fabricated story. Even worse, robbing others of their free will, changing their hearts, and wallowing in his own vanity. These crimes are unforgivable. There's no denying that he's been a fool. And yet, in spite of all that, it doesn't change the fact that Natsume spent years giving it everything he had. Creative work is often a lonely endeavor, and battling against that loneliness is truly a challenge in and of itself. As if it wasn't hard enough, if you don't produce results, no one will even think twice about you. One might even begin to think that such dark and unfulfilling times are all that's in store. Damn. He really just went in. Had I taken one wrong step, 
I may very well have turned out to be just as hideous as him. But you got us, Fox. You got us. Inari. It's Bring thanks boys. to your friendship that I didn't stray from the and girls. He, however, doesn't seem to have anyone. I say all he has is those editors, and they're obviously some douches, so. Atsume should know better than most that there's no meaning in superficial glory. And now he's turned his back on what he truly wants to write for the sake of spinning this infernal novel of lies. Someone needs to bring him back to his senses. You seem pretty motivated this time around, Inari. As one who's dedicated his life to art, I simply cannot condone his actions. Now, let us bring this to an end. We'll send the calling card, then wrest the Overlord from his throne. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Fox is all... He's, he's all game now. Oh, monkey. Okay, all that's left is the calling card. Right. We need to make Natsume aware that we're coming to steal the desires. We'll need to decide how we want to do it. What's the best way to make sure he gets the message? We'll hand it to him in person. How about email? I think we'll just hand it to him. Uh, he probably remembers our faces, though. I doubt he'd take anything from us. Hmm. What do we do? Bobby! Ooh. Come get their child, please. He could be lost, maybe? I'll go take a look. I'll go too. Hey, what's wrong, kid? Oh, you got separated from your mom, huh? Don't worry, I got you. Is that Zenkichi? What? Ramsu's already here? Hey, it's me. I got a kid who was separated from his mom here. Send someone over to look after him, would ya? I'm over it. Huh? What do you mean it's not worth pup sex time? Quit screwing around. You call yourself an officer of the law? Or are you saying you'd abandon your own kid too? Is that it? A lost kid's no joke, you, you know. You about to make that kid uncomfortable, bro. Uh, Look. Look, he just walked away from him. Wait, wait, where are you going? It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you or anything. He only won't be bothered with you. Uh, the kid totally thinks he's a creep. Kid sure made things difficult. He didn't have to run away like that, right? You're not exactly cute and cuddly, Gramps. Honestly, I don't blame him. Will you stop calling me Gramps? This is perfect timing, though, actually. Let's ask Zenkichi what he thinks. <sighs> sure. We're supposed to be working together anyway. We're all set to go inside Natsume's jail. There's just one thing left to do. Only problem is, we're not sure how to send our calling card. Calling card. Oh, you mean that thing you guys did with the screens in Shibuya? Yeah. If you want my advice? You should avoid any high-profile stuff like that. The police aren't that stupid. Eventually, you'll get caught. I know I'm supposed to help you and all, but I gotta draw the line at breaking the law. Hmm. So the adult's the voice of reason here. You really are a Gramps. You know that? <sighs> You're pretty set on calling me that, aren't you? My point is, go with something simple. We need a way to guarantee that Natsume will read the calling card. Maybe if we knew where he was going to be, we could set something up before he arrived. What, like his little book signing? Maybe if he has another, like, uh, like a book signing, we could just automatically just, you know. In that case, I found just the event. Natsume is holding another book signing at the bookstore near the station. Oh, well, that's kind of perfect. Natsume will most certainly be there. It starts as soon as the store opens at 10 a.m. Oh, that sounds doable. I bet it'd be easy to set up if we roll in at night. Hey, didn't you hear what I said? Breaking and entering's a crime, you know? Well, that's where you come in, Gramps. Huh? Yeah. If we did it and got caught, they'd lock us up. They'd lock me up, too! You saying you can't do it? <laughs> Some help the police turned out to be. Wasn't the deal that you'd cooperate with us? I thought adults kept their word. Wow, we are really bribing this man right now, huh? Uh, you kids. 
All right, it's settled. I will go and prepare the calling card. Yeah, you got this, Yusuke. That goes for you too, Zenkichi. We'll leave the planning to you. Counting on you, Zenkichi. Am I seriously going to go through with this? Of course. Welcome to the Phantom Thieves. Listen to me. Now, Tsume will look at the calling card tomorrow morning. Then we're going to finish this. You should prepare while you have time. Once we head in, there's no turning back. Yusuke's handmade calling card is time. Natsume got a visit from the Phantom Thief. Alright. Now then. Oh, save. Alright, I'm gonna get prepared. Are you sure? I will see y'all sure? when I send the calling card. Alright, boys and girls, we are ready to yes. send the calling card. Understood. I will entrust Zenkechi with this calling card. Regardless of what drove Natsume down this path, he has gripped by vanity turned to evil. If he cannot see the distortion in his heart, then we will lay it bare. Alright. It is finally time to face Natsume. Uh, Mr. Natsume. Good morning. I see. There's quite a crowd today as well. Oh yeah, they're not here for that book uh, though. Yes, about that. They ain't here for that book. What is it? Oh, you ain't peeped that like when you this? first walked in? Well, when the staff came to open the store this morning, it was already like this. They called the police, but they were told to leave it as is, to preserve the crime scene. To the ostentatious swindler, Mr. Ango Natsume. You are a depraved miscreant who holds others in contempt and steals their work, finding your own pockets all the while. We refuse to overlook the crimes you commit as you wear a false crown. Tonight, we take back the desires you've stolen. <laughs> Honestly, how stupid can you get? Damn it, what nonsense! I am the monarch. My followers are loyal. That is, as long as I hold their desires. No. Having those desires is proof of my claim to power. Proof of my sovereignty. I won't hand them over. I won't give them up. You foolish heroes are nothing but talk. Come then. I'll crush every last one of you! Oh, keep that energy, big fella. Keep that energy. Alright, his cognition should be changed now. Thank you for all your help, Mr. Detective. And with that, I've officially become an accomplice of the Phantom Thieves. What are you complaining about? You're the one who proposed working with us, remember? As a reward, I'll try to start calling you Zenkichi instead of Gramps from now on. Okay. Hmm, sounds like a pretty good deal. I take it. Inspector Hasegawa is quite a mouthful. Yeah, Zenkichi is good, don't you think? Okay then. From now on, you're Zenkichi san, alright? I'm looking forward to working together, Zenkichi. Mm, fine, whatever. You've already dragged me along this far today. Now then, the desire should have materialized at this point. It's up to us to take them back and return them to their rightful owners. In doing so, we'll set his distorted heart straight. To take him back those desires. Oh yeah. Make sure the party's my liking. I want to put Yusuke in. Instead of on, I want Ryuji. I don't know why. This looks like a nice, solid squad. Ryuji, Morgana, Yusuke. Okay, has to fight. Let's go. We're taking back those stolen desires. Yeah, Natsume won't know what hit him. Let's go. Okay, Rory, stay sharp, guys. 
Do we even warm ourselves up with these? Or not? I'll reveal your Let's see what we got real quick. This is probably gonna be super easy. I might Let's go. You're mine. It's over. All right, I think we're ready for the boss. Boom! Catch you at the boss fight. Yeah, when you hear this music, you know it got real. You certainly took your time, Phantom Thieves. Or should I say, chosen heroes? Hear the echo in here? Echo! About time we met, eh, Mr. Overlord? We're gonna give back all those desires you stole. Let's settle this! <laughs> Such foolishness! With the slightest idea of what you've just walked into! That appearance, that stance, this is no doubt the Overlord from Prince of Nightmares. He certainly gives off that impression, but weren't the fearsome four just dressed like normal people? Oh, good observation, Haru. Yeah, thinking about it. Guys didn't get much love from the author, did they? <laughs> Come all this way only to fall right into my trap. This world belongs to me and me alone. It takes shape solely according to my design. Here, the Overlord rains justice upon the holier than thou heroes who would dare brand them as evil. I hope you're ready to get you your butt kicked in your own world. Here I'll enjoy hearing those filthy screams as you atone for your transgressions. Oh, please. What are you well, going to do? Who stole others' desires just to satisfy their own selfish wants. Tell him, Makoto. Yeah, if you're really the overlord, ain't this the part where you get your ass kicked? That's right, Ryuji. You, we got that energy. Tell me, how many of my demon brethren have you slaughtered while spouting such despicable hypocrisies? Wow. This guy's reading right from the handbook, isn't he? Enough of this. It's time we fought. Big facts. Come on, no, no more talk. How brave a facade you put on. It's clear you're just afraid of losing that hollow throne you're so proud of. What was that? Your reign is not but an illusion. Allow us to show you the truth. <laughs> uh oh. Come on, Ango. Everyone looking down on me. Time is time for my true power. You shall witness my final form. I haven't even reached my final form yet. Hey, where'd he go? Oh, what the fuck? How did you do that? Oh, I give it to him. He actually kind of cool. He's one of the dopest bosses I've seen. All right, Ongo. All right. Holy crap, a dragon! He a, he a real live dragon. Really Let's get him. Come on, we got this. Hell? You gotta slow his momentum. Can you target his weakness and knock him down? Oh, so we gotta use those ice blocks. Will that actually hit him if he's in the air? Damn it. Go ahead. Sure. 
work. Let's go. You're mine. I'm going to. Alright, I mean, it's not, it's not hard. Please allow me to. Hey, bro. That's how we stop that. Box with the showtime? Such beauty. Oh, freeze him up. No nice, Fox. Oh, uh -huh. good stuff, Fox. Be trash and oh, you'll do it. Persona! I will take this. You'll try to follow up attack. I feel like it's about to be like uh what's her face? Yeah. I knew it halfway health and you're probably gonna change. What the Oh no, his armor. Wait a minute, his armor is like broke. Get out of here. You know what? It's time for my turn. Alright, if he debuffed us. Because he's about to get frozen by Jack Frost. Whooping. Just putting it in him. Oh. Damn, his armor keep breaking. Uh-oh, I think now he's snapping. And I just tagged everybody but who I really wanted to tag. Ed Butt. No? There we go. Maybe this might do it? Nah, I doubt it. It's probably going to be close. Oh, oh damn. Okay, I'll put up like 80 inch. Keep him down. This is like the third showtime. Let's go, this. Yo, we are trashing. Yo. Yo, all his armor just keeps breaking. Go ahead, bro. Yes. Bro, go ahead, write that. Write that while I just chop you up at the leg. 
you are dead. Actually, go ahead, bro. Jump up. That should end it. No? Let's go. Take the last shot. And he got... What is this? Speeds up charge attack? He ended it, right? No? Go ahead, Fox. Get the last hit in. You get the last hit, Fox. That really was not that bad. Game over indeed, Ryuji. Accept your defeat. Wait, we can rule this world together. You can have half. Wow, he sounds like a real bad guy. Remember, you beat a bad guy. You no, know, we can rule the galaxy together. Oh shit! My mantle. Oh my, mantle my god! Why they do my boy like that, yo? <laughs> Yo. Is that his true form? Oh my, I thought Hobie was big and bad. Looks like it. So in the end, even his identity was just a cheap imitation. It's over, Uncle Natsume. You're just a bunch of stupid kids. You don't know how much I'd suffer. It's not too late for me. I've still got my reputation as a writer. I've won an award. I've sold books. It's not too late. It's never too late! And that's good enough for you? <laughs> this fame you've acquired through deception and the brainwashing of others. Is that truly what you wanted? What was the real reason you started writing novels? I... I mean, I... It's very clear just how much work you've put into writing your novels. Your life led by creativity is almost always a lonely one. You braced yourself, oh, whoops, sorry. pouring your very soul into your writing, bringing it to your publisher time and time again. I will gladly acknowledge such effort and determination. <laughs> he, he, he praises his hard work that he did try, that he didn't just steal, well he stole at the end, but no, he really is a real writer at heart. There are many out there who would give up that battle. Even those of exceptional skill and creativity. To be able to continuously bring life to new works without giving up, however. That was once Oh shit, I did it again. Fighting. That is one part of your career that could never be labeled a fabrication. So start over, Ango Natsume. Claw your way back up from nothing and move forward. After all, there are some things that simply cannot be painted without a blank canvas. <laughs> it is because everyone believed in me that I was able to choose the path I walk today. I stopped lying to myself and was able to begin anew. So it is now my turn to pay it forward. Even if I'm the only one in the world to do so, I will believe. This identity of mine was built on nothing but lies. I 
don't need it anymore. I'll do it. I'll climb my way back up. And I'll do it on my own strength. I'll write a novel that'll capture the hearts of countless readers, just like my grandfather before me. I'll write something I can be proud of. To everyone, I swear it! Good. And I'll be looking forward to the day I get to read it. <laughs> you know, I really am stupid. How did I let myself forget? I know now. What it is I really wanted. <sighs> the cage is collapsing. Come on, we're leaving. Let's bounce. Looks like it's over for now. Mission complete. Another one down. I wonder if everyone's desires have been returned yet. Probably. They all went flying out of the cage after all. I want to see for myself. Maybe we should check on the people back in town, just to be safe. Good idea. That said, the jail didn't disappear this time either. Now I'm sure of it. Jails really aren't the same as palaces. Well, we can worry about it later. Indeed. Let's go. Hey. What's up, Who Sophie? So I'm restless right now. Do you know what this is? Something bothering you? I'm not sure what's wrong. Natsumi tried his hardest, but somewhere along the way, he lost sight of what mattered to him. He is a strange person, Natsume. This is a new start for him. Yes, he did say he would climb back up. Yusuke said Natsume lost his way because he was alone. Whenever I think about that, I feel restless inside. Sophia, don't worry, you'll never be alone, alright? Even though Natsume hurt a lot of people and was, for some time, one of our enemies. What is this feeling? Same Yusuke the had. Same as Yusuke? I see. So that's why Yusuke saved Natsume. Yes. It was because Natsume's reason for doing all those terrible things was really sad. I think I understand now. Sadness can hurt people, but it can also save them. It can give humans a reason to support one another. I think you're right. Yes. I'm sure that's it. Okay. We should probably get going. So, you know how I was all excited for the Tanabata festival that's coming up? My boyfriend says he's already got plans. Oh, by the way, did you ever finish reading that manga I lent you? I got someone else who wants to borrow it. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it worked. Yeah, people not talking about Natsume. It seems like yeah. there's normal conversations. It doesn't look like anyone's talking about Natsume anymore. Then, all is as it should be. Obtaining fame through some deceptive power doesn't fit his image. This wouldn't have been possible without you being there to open his eyes, Yusuke. Hey, Yusuke, you're the hero this time. You really took charge today, Inari. He was a real hero. Yep. Chosen hero Inari has restored peace and harmony throughout the land. Yep, I'm just here for just to be here today, Yusuke. You're the hero. You're the protagonist. Thank you. I can feel a strong bond with my friends. Dating an enemy. Wait, what's this? However, we're not finished just yet. We must confirm whether the change of heart was a success. For now, we'll just have to wait and see how things turn out. Yep. <sighs> well, since we've got some free time, can we unwind at a bathhouse or something? Oh, I'm totally beat. Good idea. We can freshen up a little before we head back to the car. You heard him, Sophia. It's all you. Okay, I'll find the best bathhouse in the area. Twenty on the bond.
Sendai press conference venue. Thank you, everyone, for coming. I've called this press conference to give an announcement, as well as a formal apology. First, my novel, Prince of Nightmares, was recently bestowed the honor of receiving first place in the Sokaisha Awards. I have decided to give the award back. I've also decided to recall all published copies, not to mention take the necessary steps to refund everyone's money. I'm sure you all want to know my reasons for doing so. The truth is, my book, Prince of Nightmares, only won because of my status as Sogo Natsume's grandson. In short, the competition was fixed. In addition, I've also stolen the work of countless other authors word for word. Lastly, the story I told about writing to inspire a hospitalized girl was nothing but a lie to garner sympathy. This fabrication allowed my book to sell a number of copies it nowhere near deserved. I wish to apologize for this scandal, and I'll start by personally seeing to it that everyone who bought my book is refunded. I promise my writing career ends here. I am deeply sorry for all that I've done to all of you. Uh, hold on, Mr. Natsume. Uh, what do you think you're doing? He's like, oh, my money. No, no, please, Mr. Natsume. Why? Why are you saying all these things? Arr. Hey, time to wrap it up. Get everyone out of here, now. Please, don't interfere. This is my way of taking responsibility. Hey, something doesn't seem right here. Mr. Natsume is the one who put this thing together, right? Do you think the editors were just trying to profit off Mr. Natsume's family name? Yeah, uh, uh, we've been found out. Let's get out of here. Hey. Uh oh, Yusuke. Uh, uh, who, who are you? I will not allow this. You. You were the one from the party. I'm so sorry for what I said back. I will not allow you to cower and run away, Ango Natsume. You intend to make a comeback, do you not? Huh? When you do return to the literary world, I want to see a book with your name on it, not your grandfather's. <gasps> mm. You are going to write a novel that you can be proud of, are you not? We'll be waiting. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Where are they supposed to be? Once everything is rightfully resolved, I will make my return. Even if there's just one person out there waiting to read my stories, no matter what, I will keep writing. I only hope that I can one day save someone's soul the way my grandfather's novel saved mine when I was young. That is why I write. Yeah. Ango Natsume, ladies and gentlemen. You kids are something else. Barging in on a press conference like that? My apologies. It was imperative that I speak with him. Eh, it's fine. Alright, well, I gotta run. I have to go question Natsume. Oh, right. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't end with just an apology. Senkichi's really doing his job. It's almost like he's an actual cop or something. I am an actual cop. Anyway, it won't take long, so go on and wait for me back the car. Yes, sir. Guess we should get rolling then. Right. We'll leave the rest to him. Do you have a moment? Yes, Yusuke. I do have a moment. What is it that you need? How may I assist you now? Are you really looking forward to taking my role as a protagonist? Because Yusuke, if you really want this role, you're gonna have to fight me for it. Something about Natsume's been bothering me. What he did was no doubt unforgivable. However, was he really like Matarame? Can he truly be called evil like the palace rulers we confronted in the past? 
Oh, I thought you wanted to take my place. Had he simply ignored his editors, would he have strayed from his path? Or am I perhaps just sympathizing with someone who pursues the arts like myself? Ah, oh, man, you see it. What do you think? I don't, I don't think he, well, I don't know. I see. Yes, it is a rather difficult Because a part of question. him, he wasn't a bad guy, and a part of him was a bad guy. He wasn't a bad guy because he did it because, well, he wanted to be famous. He just wanted to live up to his grandfather's name. You know what I mean? But then he was also bad because he knew he was doing stuff that was evil. He was just using people to buy his books. Forgive me, I didn't mean to hold you up. We should return to the car as well. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Back to the car. So. There's nothing more we can do now. We should wait at the hideout until Zenkichi reaches out. Alright, let's go to the hideout then. After some time, Zenkichi came to the hideout. And that about sums up Natsume's confession. So once people friended him through Emma, they'd become his fans. It's just like what Alice said. And Natsume's smartphone worked the same as Alice's, too. There wasn't anything off about the Emma app or the phone itself. So we got nothing again? I didn't say that. Just like before, there were traces of someone snooping around in there. For real? Same as Alice. You're talking about how Alice's smartphone was being monitored by someone, right? So the same occurred with Natsume's phone as well. Well, any idea who it is? Sorry, I got nothing. All I found were traces. So Alice and Natsume were being watched by someone. Hey, Zenkichi, did the police know about that? No. The only reason we know this guy exists is because Sakura sifted through Alice's smartphone. So aside from the fact that they both used Emma, this mystery observer is the only thing linking Alice and Natsume together. If the police didn't know that, why would they assume these two cases are related? Well, these are some very peculiar cases. But mainly, it boils down to the nature of the crimes and the timing. The timing? All of the change of heart incidents occurred at roughly the same time, that being within the last three months. Didn't I tell you? Three months ago is around when Emma was released. Well, Emma is being used to perpetrate the crimes, so that makes sense. Someone could be exploiting it. Maybe. This seems like it'd be pretty difficult for a third party to pull off. That company putting that thing out is suspicious as all hell. What are they called again? Madams? Madis. Well, at least you got the mad part. Damn, Futaba. Oh, my boy like that. For what it's worth, I'm investigating on that front as well. Still, we're talking about a major corporation operating on a global scale. You can't just walk in and start poking around without reason. You haven't found anything suspicious yet? Not yet, no. At least, nothing's come up from checking the individuals involved. If our mystery observer was connected to Medis, though, then we'd have grounds to conduct an investigation. Do you think there's someone pulling the strings in this case? You don't know for sure yet. The incidents are similar, but they could just as easily be unrelated. I guess we'll have to see if the other incidents have any overlap as well. That's one of the basic rules of investigation. Find what the incidents do and don't have in common, then start narrowing things down. For now, looking into the other incidents is our best bet at scoring a lead. This is true. We'll have to do what we can for the time being. And if we look into the other jails and their monarchs, we might learn something new. Then, if we're all done here, I'm heading to Sapporo to see what I can find at our next target. We'll rendezvous on the 8th. I'll contact you the day of. Three days. Should be an easy trip with a car. No need to rush. The target's not even in Japan until then. Oh, right. Wasn't there a festival happening around here soon? Sendai is famous for its Tanabata festivals. Lots of good food lined up, too. Or so I hear. Yes, I did see decorations being put up here and there. Anyway, I'll see you in three days. 
Don't forget. Three days, big fella. I guess he wants us to rest up while we can. Gramps is actually a pretty considerate guy, huh? Well, since we're here, should we put on Yukata and go to the festival? Hey, why not? <laughs> Yukata. Uh, I can't help but think of our disastrous fireworks festival last year when we got rained on. That's why we're gonna do it right this time. Besides, we didn't have Futaba or Haru with us back then. Count me in. Going to a festival in Yukata sounds wonderful. I'll wear one too. Then we got a plan. Sophia, find us a shop that sells Yukata. I've got four hits. Allow me to direct you. And we getting lazy. We just asking Sophia for everything now. Dude, check out all the boots. As one might expect from Sendai's Tanabata Festival. It's quite lively here. Apparently, the locals call it Tanabata-san. And it's said to have originated from back in Date Masamune's time. Hey, that's the dude from the statue, huh? Mm-hmm. He's not a dude. He's Lord Date Masamune, the one-eyed dragon of ocean. Jeez, what are you, his retainer or something? Oh, there are so many booths. It's hard to pick what to see first. What do you think? Um, let's go to the shooting gallery. Oh, you want to make a competition out of it? I'm a pretty good shot, you know. You seem more like the brute force type, Ryuji. I think you should stick to melee weapons. Yeah, if you know damn well, I'm going to the shot. Speaking of which, ain't those guys here yet? It takes time for a lady to get ready. They're not unrefined apes like the rest of you. Who are you calling an ape? You're the unrefined one, you furball. Hmm. Worth the wait. Thanks. It means a lot hearing that from you. Absolutely picturesque. You brought us a much needed air of refinement. Yeah, according to someone, we're about as unrefined as it gets. Wow, Ryuji, that looks really good on you. Even better than your school uniform. You don't gotta try and make me feel better. You made a good choice with that mask, though. Yellow's a good match for this season. I bought a water balloon. You gotta get one when you go to a festival. Water balloon? Oh, you mean a yo-yo? No, isn't that called a water yo-yo? Uh, wait a sec. I thought it was yo-yo balloon. No, it's a water balloon. Hmm. What do you call it? I call it, um, a water balloon. Yeah, I knew it! I mean, it's only a little bit, but there's still sun water inside. <laughs> Looks like everyone's having a good time. We should have a little fun ourselves. Why don't we check out the food stands and get something to eat? Yeah, let's sure. go get some food. I was starting to get hungry since everything smells so good. All we do is food, food, food. Look, they've got all the staples. Yakisoba, yakitori, shaved ice. They've even got cognac skewers. Those are huge in Toho food. What are we waiting for? Charge! Let's go! Come on, we should get going too. Hell yeah! Let's start from one end and get one of everything. Feels as if we're forgetting the spirit of Tanabata. Though I have no objections. I want to see more of the festival too. Show me how to catch goldfish. I had fun with everyone at the festival. Mm. The ball. That was so good. Cognac skewers. Ishinomaki yakisoba, Zunda cider. We basically ate our way through Sendai. And it was amazing. Gotta hand it to old man Masamune. He is one cool dude. That's lord to you. Did I do it right, Yusuke? Am I that predictable? Yes. Catching goldfish seems difficult. Is there some sort of secret to catching one? Try to stay calm, then strike without hesitation. Trick is to catch them once you've read their movements. Wow, that's impressive, Mako-chan. I see. 
We'll get it next time. Uh oh. You're getting a call from Zinkichi. Yo, you guys having fun? Sure. Oh yeah? Good to hear. Listen, I wanted to ask you guys a favor. I'm already investigating in Sapporo, but before you leave Sendai, I'd like you to stop by Toho University. Tomorrow, there's gonna be a session at the Mount Aoba campus. Session? The CEO of Medis is holding a lecture there. I'm still looking into them at the moment, but the more info we have, the better. Oh wow. I'd like you to attend the lecture in my place. What's in it for us? I'll treat you guys to dinner or something. The food in Hokkaido is really something special, you know? And just so we're clear, don't draw any unnecessary attention to yourselves. Just go and see if the CEO says anything strange. Do you have a name? His name is Akira Konoe. And he looks like a capable CEO. I'll give him that. Anyway, I'm gonna be counting on you kids. And again, try not to get carried away. Alright? We'll try. What did you want? Let me get this straight. This guy's running the company that made Emma? This might be a good opportunity to learn something new. Yeah. I suppose we'll find out at the lecture tomorrow morning. Guess break time's over. Time to get back to work. Back to Phantom Thieving. Percy of Toho Lecture Hall. As you all know, life is just an ongoing series oh, of daily decisions. Look at this dude. Look out here looking like a, a Japanese Tony Stark in the face. Look at him. What's for breakfast? What should I wear today? Every day begins with these insignificant little dilemmas. But then there comes a time to decide your field of study, your place of employment, who you're going to marry. And it's these choices that matter. Yes, people are always looking for the best choice or the correct answer. I'm about to say I can ask Emma who should I marry? Madis seeks to provide it for everyone. Power of AI. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be like, yo, Emma, did I marry this girl? Bloop, no. Emma is a state of the art AI designed to integrate itself into our everyday lives. By gathering and analyzing extraordinary amounts of data with perfect precision, Emma can help everyone make the best choices. Capable CEO seems pretty spot on. Wow, he's so composed. He's practically overflowing with confidence. Look how clearly he states his company's outlook and principles. He's got everyone's attention. You're right. He's not saying anything particularly suspicious, though. Well, thanks to Emma, Medisa's stocks have shot way up. You can bet they're one of Japan's biggest enterprises right now. Yo, why we got Futaba sitting all the way over there by herself? That said, I feel like a company with this much going for it wouldn't have much to gain from changing people's hearts. Perhaps, but that doesn't change the fact that Emma is still a key factor in the jails. It is through Emma that people are allowed access. Right. Medis is connected to all of this one way or another, be it directly or indirectly. Hey, do you think there's a real culprit behind all of this? Like, some kind of mastermind? I do. I think so too. Even if we beat the monarchs, change their hearts, and free everyone's desires, the jails don't disappear. Still somebody watching them. There's gotta be something keeping them here. So you're saying the real culprit's the one doing that? I don't know. But do you remember how even the monarchs themselves didn't know much about Emma? That's right. Alice and Natsume said the same things in their testimonies. And if that's the case, then the monarchs might not be the only ones manipulating Emma. Which means it could be someone at Medis. Or our mystery observer. Or our head honcho down there. Or perhaps someone completely different. Yeah, well, we just gotta stick to what Gramps was telling us, right? All we can do is keep solving cases and collect more info. As long as the Phantom Thieves of Hearts do what they do best, we'll set this shit straight. Well, 
Wow, Ryuji. That was pretty insightful. I'm not gonna lie, that's like, that's like one of the best things that he said, like, straight out. You feel? He's right. And in that sense, attending this lecture is a valuable use of our time. Let's make sure we pay attention all the way to the end. <laughs> Yo, how long was I out? So, what did the dude say? <sighs> Can I smack you? Then let's pay attention. My boy took a nap. Well, he didn't exactly say anything out of the ordinary. Then again, I wouldn't expect him to trip up that easily. Well, I'm starving, so maybe we should just head back? Hey guys, that stuff you said earlier, was all of that true? What the hell? Huh? Are you really the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? Oh shit. What? You're the woman from the Beef Tongue restaurant. Oh, Ichinose-san, right? You heard all that? Well, the thing is, I'm really good at picking up when a cat meows. Honestly, I found that way more interesting than Kanoe's lecture. No, nah. Me? But you guys are the ones she overheard. What the hell are we going to do? <sighs> you know what? She seems very weird. It's time just to come clean. Whoa, stop, stop. It's all right. This place will be closing up soon. Let's talk more outside. Wow, to think you guys are the famous Phantom Thieves. We were just pretending. We're gonna go home now. Come on now, don't try to hide it. All right, I'm sorry. When you guys mentioned Alice and Natsume, I imagine you were referring to Alice Hiragi and Ango Natsume from the press conferences, yes? Is it safe to assume those were your doing? Oh, and what was that about Emma giving people access to jails? Oh, is that related to everyone's hearts getting changed? Yo, you're you are really calm about this. Like you you about this life. She she heard everything. Oh yeah, she got everything. Um can we ask what you're doing here, Ichinose san? Oh, I told you at the beef tongue place, didn't I? I'm a researcher at the university. Oh, that's right. I'm also the one who designed the base for Emma. Huh? You made the base? I didn't tell you. I specialize in the research and development of artificial intelligence. Uh, he definitely didn't hear about that. Around the time I finished developing Emma, Medis came to me with an offer to buy it. I was actually pretty tight on money at the time, so I went ahead and sold it. Is this lady for real? Oh, by the way, that's why Medis is participating in the lecture today. Well, to be more accurate, the university asked me to reach out to them. I certainly didn't expect the CEO himself to show up, though. I only got invited because of my little connection with the company. Anyhow, yeah, that's how I ended up being there to overhear everything. So you're Emma's creator, and Medis is simply the ones running it? Oh, well, they're definitely the ones running it, but I can't say for sure if that's all they've been doing. They just designed the base. Who knows what Medis did once I sold it to them? So, you know all about Emma then, right? Naturally. It's like my baby, you know. And at the risk of tooting my own horn, it's a really good baby. Just met Emma's mama. Oh, never would have expected this turn of events. Yo, look at her studio. She was just waving. <laughs> like, hey, I'm still over here. Do you think she's telling the truth about designing Emma? I do think it's impressive that the CEO of Medis came to personally give a lecture. If she's the one who made it happen, doesn't that mean she has a lot of influence? This is true. And let's not forget the university asked her to attend the lecture. What should we do? She could probably tell us a lot about Emma. Not to mention she knows who we are now. What do you think? Let's just tell her the truth. I guess it's too late to cover this up. Yeah. Then we may as well go all in and find out what we can. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. It's settled then. We'll tell her everything. Everything. Tell her everything. Is all of that true? Right. We know. It's kind of hard to believe, huh? Hey, what if we just show her? 
like we did with Senkichi. Wow! It really does exist! I mean, how else could you explain all this? Damn, she just accepted it. So Emma functions as the entry point here, huh? No, that's... If I consider the possibilities... Uh, she believed all that? I mean... Oh, you have no idea how fascinating this is! What an incredible development! <laughs> uh, well, at least we don't gotta go through the trouble of convincing her. Ichinose-san, do you have any idea why Emma is serving as an entry point to the jails? Oh, no, couldn't tell you. I'm surprised this other world even exists. There's no way I could have thought of a way to get in if I didn't even know it existed to begin with. Yeah, that figures. Wait, so that means that function was added later? Possibly somebody at Medis just could have added it. A world where people's desires are stolen and their hearts are changed. Hmm, so many questions. What if it's somebody who used to work at Medis and found out they could do this, but then got fired or something, now just doing it out of spite? Trying to make Emma look bad. Oh, wait. Maybe I should be heartbroken here. My baby is being used for evil after all. Let's help each other. Help me and I will help your baby. Oh, I like the sound of that. Super Phantom Fifi. I'd be glad to help however I can. And I can't say I don't feel kind of responsible for all of this. More than anything, though, I think I'd die of curiosity if I didn't get involved. So... What do you need me to look into? Say the word and I'm on it. Uh, just tell us about Emma. Right. Well, for starters, we'd like you to find whatever you can about Emma's current state. Maybe try and figure out how it's different from the base you created. I see. Basically, you'd like to know the secret behind this new version of Emma. And if someone's responsible, you want to know who. Oh, hey! We found some of those mystery junk parts out there, didn't we? Maybe if she takes a look at him, we'll learn more about that world. Ooh, so you're gonna give me a bunch of neat stuff to analyze? Yes, that's excellent. Just wonderful. In fact, I'll even buy them from you as research materials. Hmm. Well, if this is going to be a deal, then we'll need to provide something as well. What is she buying? Hmm. Nonsense. It's fine just the way it is. My inner researcher is just squealing with delight. What do you say we seal the deal? We'll be counting on you. Okay, looking forward to it. Dunk parts become easier to obtain. Oh, yo, if she specializes in AI, maybe we should ask about Sophia, yeah? Huh? Sophia? Hi, I'm Sophia, humanity's companion. It's nice to meet you, Ichinose. Jesus Christ, humanity's companion. This is... Sophia? Huh. It's nice to meet you, too. Why she sound not excited? Who flipped the switch on her? Yeah, no, thank you, Ryuji. At least I wasn't the only one who picked it up. She did not sound excited at all. Oh, no, it's just that I've got so much on my mind right now. I guess even I'm a little confused. Sophia's an AI we met in the metaverse. Is there anything you can tell us about her? No, I can't say I know anything about her. Think you could send me her code later, though? Huh? Oh, sure. No problem. Here, I'll give you my contact information. Well then, I'm excited to see how this all develops. See you around! Uh, well, there she goes. Would have been nice if she'd known something about Sophia. Okay, as long as I can stay useful to you guys. Yes, that takes care of that. Oh yeah, I totally forgot after all that's just happened, but we're heading to Sapporo next, right? Yep. I'll yeah, be there tomorrow. Zenkichi's waiting for us in Hokkaido. Hell yeah! Hokkaido, here we come! Hey, hey! Next stop, Hokkaido. Time to say goodbye to Sendai. Anything you didn't tick off your list? Oh, we're still here, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, let's hit the RV once. Once you choose to go to the next city, you will be unable to return to the city you are currently in. Make sure to buy limited items and take care of business that you only can be done in that city. Unlike cities in the real world, you can revisit past jails at any time. However, be aware that requests obtained from conversing with friends in the past cities will no longer be available to accept or complete. 
Uh oh, what's this? Hey yo, can I borrow you? There's something I want to do before we go. I shall await you at the entrance of Mount Adobe Park. Um, all right. Now let's do this thing with Futaba, I guess. Or should we save it for the next episode? Um, uh, we can do it real quick. Yo! Why not? There you are. I want to get a picture in this cutout board before we head out. This is a great photo op, so it'd be a real waste not to. I've gone ahead and called Denari over too, so just join in. Sure. Hey, thanks. Then let's start making some memory. <laughs> and Ari, I hope I'm not the woman. Okay, without a further ado, it's time to play Who Looks More Like Date Musama. In the blue corner, we have an Ari. That's fine. Hmm. I don't quite follow, but I'll do my best. How's this? Ooh. Wow, that's crazy. You really do look like him. <laughs> Looking good, Yusuke. Hmm. It's like he's wearing armor. How interesting. What's up, Masamu? Very well. <laughs> I can't say I don't like the sound of that. Hmm. hmm. There's something still missing. Oh, that's right. Oh, I know. Yotaro, you get the other one. Oh my god, I gotta be the woman. I just said I didn't want to be. That's it. <laughs> Here comes the princess. You couple. Something is amiss. Totoro, is it just me? Or are we being exploited for her entertainment? <sighs> it's all a part of the road trip, man. Well, if you say so. Right, right. Yeah, looks good. But maybe you could get a little more into the role. Like this? Aww. Nope, not even close. Look, Inari, you're Lord da Date Musama, whatever his name is. As ruler of Toko region, everyone's throwing mad respect your way. You gotta In own that it. Case. I see. Then perhaps like this. You think you can win the respect of people like that? <clears throat> Ugh, then how about this? Oh, dude, yo, oh no, nah, he just popped a blood vessel. <sighs> Sorry, you actually kind of freaked me out. All right, you guys, we're going to leave it off here. We have gotten rid of Ango Natsume's shadow. Natsume admitted to all of his crimes. And um, we even have a new ally in the researcher lady. I forget what her name is already, but yeah, this was a pretty packful episode. Um, next time, we are going to go to Sapporo and see what awaits us over there as Zenkechi is already there he's waiting for us so I will catch you guys on the next episode peace